crisis came about because of the crisis and because of the economic crisis. And in the context of particularly countries who are considered highly indebted, who were hit very hard by the Euro crisis, by the financial crash. Organisations who were involved in development education and awareness raising, as well as global justice campaigning, came together as a group to develop this idea around challenging the crisis. What were we trying to achieve uh, with this forum? For me, as a youth facilitator who was invited to be on the team for the forum, um, it was very important that we support the young people to take something from their heart and something from their mind that they had worked on uh, in their own countries and to give them a chance to explore that, to look at different campaign ideas um, and together to take those campaign ideas, give them enough depth of analysis to really decide which one or which combination of some of them would become the strong and powerful campaign that this group could take and bring with them beyond the Global Youth Forum. We welcomed the Young Global Advocates to the um, hotel in Brussels um, where we were hosting the event on Saturday evening and um, people arrived throughout the day from the different national groups um, and had a chance to make themselves comfortable, to get to know each other um, a little bit before we started with the official opening at six o'clock. There are a couple of things that I'm particularly enjoying about this process of being here in Brussels and meeting with other YGAs. Uh, the first is just that, to be in a group with people from all over Europe um, and people that we've spoken through kind of online and through Ning, but now to meet them in person uh, and to hear particularly the different things that are issues in different countries. Um, and then I think I've also really enjoyed the process of taking those ideas and all of that passion um, and turning it into something concrete through uh, different methodologies. So we've had large working groups, we've had small working groups, we've had groups that are facilitated, not facilitated. We've had some time to discuss kind of over meals and more casually. Uh, and I think the combination of all those things is what led to us coming up with a topic that everybody could accept. And that was a process of negotiation and ideas exchange. In an event like this, Global Youth Forum, you would imagine that with the topics um, there might be serious conversations and discussions, but we also felt that there was value and importance in having a variety of methods and using a variety of methodologies to engage the young people and to give them the opportunity to balance between discussing and talking. This was to have a chance to really warm up the group in terms of energising them, motivating them, breaking down the barriers between them, um, to get them speaking to each other and also to have some fun together because it was really important that they felt comfortable as a team. On Sunday morning then we, we started with the first day of the, I suppose, the formal programme in terms of the inputs and um, facilitated sessions on the, on the project, challenging the crisis and also on the campaign topic. And the first um, input in the morning was by Mamadou and Selina, and that looked at unpacking global injustice. And what that meant was just beginning to understand um, what we mean when we talk about global injustice. Some people might use the term global injustice, some people might use the term deprivation, poverty, inequality, whatever you want to call it. What, what does it look like? When you close your eyes, what do you see? What do you feel? What do you smell? I'm here mainly as a global education expert and my job is to kind of like give an input every morning um, for about an hour and a half uh, together with my fellow global expert and, and what we try to do is to set things going by provoking um, uh, the participants by uh, giving uh, a detailed input in particular topics. The first day we looked at global inequality, the second day we look at uh, power and the exercise of power. The third day we look at global education, global youth work, and how uh, participants can actually uh, bring about change. 
Uh, we also actually do facilitate uh, the plenaries in the evening uh, mainly. Selena also um, gave us the opportunity to learn a bit more about the international institutions and the thinking behind some of the development policies that our governments and international institutions like the European Union and the United Nations um, introduce. So what is development? And for the neoliberal model, uh, and this, when I say mainstream, this is what most politicians and most of the main institutions, uh, what, what Momadou was mentioning, the World Bank, even the United Nations, this is what policymakers have in their hands. So what we were trying to achieve was to share some information on the context of international development and the political agenda at this moment so as to be able to put this uh, project and the campaign in the wider uh, context and we aim to provide some uh, tools for analysis. We had a short activity where the young people drew body maps which meant that they, they lay on the floor and they traced a map um, onto a body onto a flip chart and on half of the body they wrote what they think is the present uh, reality and the context of where they live and then um, on the other side of it they, they drew symbols and words of the future that they would like to see, the vision that they have for the future they'd like to create. Like one one really uh, open group that uh, um, everybody is very social and uh, relaxed and open and um, uh, there are no constraints and no prejudices and um, everybody is really involved in the in the in the topic in the campaign they want to see the change they want to work on it. Uh, there are really, or maybe I, I didn't notice them, but there are really a small amount of people that are not being involved. Um, so I really admire the group for that. Still, we we maintained to to be in the in the frames of the of the content. We didn't go, you know, we didn't. Um, Change the the topic to from from professional to to personal or something like that. You know, I had an opinion. Somebody else had another opinion. We exchanged that opinions, but that was it. It was cool. Nobody had any um, resentments, or, or at least I I didn't I didn't have that feeling. And everything is really relaxed. We we discuss. We we maybe come across but still then we go outside and have coffee and left. The next session then focused on the um, sharing the campaign ideas from each national country. So um, each of the teams had a chance just to consolidate their ideas and then to present them in what we called an elevator pitch where they had basically two minutes to share the essence of their idea with the, um, with the full group. Um, so the Greek team presented um, their vision of a campaign on value-based education. The Italians, um, their idea was on the social economy. Um, the Spanish group presented, a pre presented their topic on compulsory corporate social responsibility. The Irish team um, had a campaign idea on gender equality. The Slovenians on the environment and green jobs. And then finally the Portuguese on tackling um, territorial and regional disparities and asymmetries. This group of young adults, this group of, of very passionate, very engaged, very well informed young people coming together in this way creates something that's very, very powerful in terms of a campaign, um, but also in terms of changing ideas and changing people's perceptions. This has been a very powerful, powerful experience because um, we've got young people uh, from different countries mainly affected by the European crisis, whether it's in Greece or Spain or Italy or Ireland or Slovenia. Um, you know, it, it, it's been really, really good to, to hear the stories, the national stories, the local stories that they have to tell about how the, tri the crisis impacts on their lives. Not only that, but also to begin to find common solutions, uh, to develop a project, a campaign idea that they can implement for the next two years.
We live in times that sometimes we think that young people are not aware of the, of the problems that we are living in our society, in our countries, and that they don't uh, take a side in solving problems or discussing, discussing ideas and alternatives. So I think this is, was the, the best being here and sharing new ideas. After that, we had some time to explore the topics together. Um, to, we used a tool in the afternoon called the Thinking Hats, which is by an educator called Edward de Bono, which allows you to um, systematically consider and look at different um, ideas. And you consider them from the facts and the information that you have about them. You can also spend time looking at the benefits and the advantages. Um, the, think uh, one of the hats is about risks and challenges and then one of them is also about your your feeling and your emotion when you think about the topic so we we looked at each of the campaign national campaign ideas using this tool in different groups mixed nationalities and really the young people had a chance to explore and ask questions about about the topics and um, we were hoping at that stage to be able to move on to the selection of the campaign but actually it was becoming increasingly difficult because there were also um, some new ideas that were brought to the table. Some of the group uh, young people wanted to present a campaign on youth empowerment, for instance, which was a new topic. It was natural that it was difficult for the young people to, to, um, to consolidate or to fix on one idea. And that evening then we had a short session just to come back and decide how will we take this process forward, how should we move the discussion forward and what's the best approach. It was really clear this is really good because sustainability is good and it's really important to protect the environment. We will all win with it, we will be healthier people, uh, we will also have better quality of life. Um, there was this feeling that it, the one benefit was that it would actually protect workers' rights and uh, that actually it would also help to raise more awareness on the environmental question. We were wearing the yellow hat, the benefits. Everyone agreed on that, um, saying that education is a central issue, that is something really, really important, and I think like 90% of the people thought it was really important. Because it promotes like social awareness, equality, acceptance of differences, and democracy, democracy in general. I believe that the forum is an essential part uh, for achieving the aims of the project because as a facilitator I am I strongly convinced that it's by bringing people together and allowing them work together and allowing them uh, having the flow among them and exchange their ideas and clash a little bit we actually are able to move things forward and this is what I have seen happen over last two days of the forum. This is what is happening now as we speak in the room next doors. So I think without this meeting it wouldn't be possible to actually run the campaign for the years to come and this is where we build motivation, this is where we build content, this is where we build relations between people and this will all allow the campaign to actually be an efficient campaign, an effective campaign and the one that can have a real impact. I think this project is big and it's ambitious, but it is very important uh, to involve 60 young people from different European countries uh, in a campaign about social justice, about global development. Uh, it is always important, but it is especially in a time of crisis in which uh, these issues are not so uh, immediate, are not so easy to take for the people which are already suffering. So um, after that session we had um, then we changed a bit, we deviated from the program. We uh, realized that actually the young people wanted to have more unstructured space to explore the campaign topic and that's a really integral part of non-formal education that they can also on the agenda of the program, that it's not just us presenting a program that they have to follow, but also that they have a, a, a say in shaping the way we would take our decisions and the way we work together. So they really managed to organise themselves in terms of taking notes, in terms of facilitating the time, in terms of having a, a symbol that they passed around and whoever was holding it could speak. Um, and they really respected each other's um, chance to share their ideas and express their opinions. The most uh, important thing for me was actually to see how the young people 
were working. And yes, we did a lot of activities, the facilitators did a lot of different dynamics, but actually in the moment of the truth, let's say, when they needed to actually choose the campaign or to work together, 60 people trying to choose something which is huge, but they did it. Then they thought that they were ready to take a vote. And we had a very simple system of just three, there were three topics at that stage, um, and they, they vote, they simply voted. And at the end, after lunch, then we came back and we presented the idea which um, had emerged from the transnational uh, discussions on the campaign topic, and that was for social cohesion through uh, social economy. So they were very relieved. There was a very large celebration at that stage. People were really happy to have a, to have a campaign topic decided because I think it was very intense um, discussions about it. They really were giving everything that they had. They were very engaged. Um, they managed themselves as a group. So all of those energies that they brought into it, I think, meant that there was a really great, um, there was a relief and a celebration as well when we finally decided on a topic together. Starting from the beginning up to now, they grew up as a group and uh, I could see even re uh, rising a real awareness of how they are strong they are when they are together. So I really wish that they spend a very good time, but looking at that face, they were so happy, I could say that maybe we've done a very good job. I think the experience here at the Global Youth Forum with the young people has been absolutely incredible and very, very inspiring. There has been a really strong process of change, of coming together, of negotiation, but also finding common ground and finding common ground in the need to campaign for change and to address inequality, to address um, human rights, to address the 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 toxic normality of poverty, to use Mamadou's phrase from earlier in the week. I know the amount of passion that I have seen over the last three days has been absolutely powerful. And the fact that they care so much about the situations that affect them at their local and the national and European levels, and as well, uh, what's happening in other parts of the world and how that links into uh, their daily lives and what solutions they're trying to find has been absolutely uh, unbelievable in a good way, in a very, very good way. The Global Youth Forum is a first step of a common campaign. It's the first step of uh, cooperation between the partner countries and the young global advocates that are participating in the program. It is the motivation and stimulation to go on and a place of fermentation where our proposals, our ideas and our topics were elaborated. So this is a, a good start for a better, even better future on the project and the campaign. Putting people first in any concept, in any system is a good thing. I think that's what people want. Uh, I think that's why the campaign will be successful and uh, please help and support it. A campaign that we propose is a new way of seeing the economy mundial, an alternative, an alternative that is socially more just and that promotes the sustainability of the nature and the race human. This is the alternative that the young people propose. Please help us. Don't forget that we don't choose the place where we were born. Thank you. So, the campaign that we propose è un nuovo modo di combattere la crisi ed è l'economia sociale che prevede l'inclusione di persone svantaggiate che crea nuovi posti di lavoro e che crea un, un guadagno no profit, quindi senza profitto. Uh, abbiamo deciso di uh, scegliere questo tipo di topic perché uh, include tutti i topic, uh, tutti uh, i tipi di crisi che sono presenti in Europa e quindi gone. Tore, v Sloveniji smo se u naši kampanji odlučili za socijalno povezanost preko zagotovitve novih delovnih mest za mlade in s tem povezavo 
бъдат различни ми се прави члани нашега, наши, наших младих и за то а, сме се приправили цел тейден убийство на тем срещанью. Той той словение. Хвала. А través de la campaña de economía social queremos transmitir el concepto de buen vivir y crear una estructura económica y social más justa. Стохо мас ке ора мама сне на катаполемишме ти втохе на енергия ке ти на нишота ке на проспасишме на просферме со антропус е топико ке пагосме епипедо, а леги ке кинонике едакси.